Seventh grade, open up resources, illustrative mathematics. Unit 5, Lesson 16, representing contexts with equations. Problem number one, match each situation to one of the equations. A, a whale is diving at a rate of two meters per second. How long will it take for the whale to get from the surface of the ocean to an elevation of negative 12 meters at that rate? We're looking for an equation that's going negative two meters for an unknown time to take them negative 12 meters. Situation A matches perfectly with equation three. B, a swimmer dove below the surface of the ocean. After two minutes, she was 12 meters below the surface. At what rate was she diving? We're looking for an equation that has the diver diving for two minutes at an unknown rate to get negative 12 meters. Situation B is a perfect match with equation four. C, the temperature was negative 12 degrees Celsius and rose two degrees Celsius. What was the change in temperature? We're looking for an equation that represents a temperature being negative 12 degrees and then increasing an unknown amount to become two degrees Celsius. Situation C is a perfect match with equation one. D, the temperature was two degrees Celsius and fell to negative 12 degrees Celsius. What was the change in temperature? We're looking for an equation that represents a temperature starting at two degrees, then falling an unknown amount and becoming negative 12 degrees. Remember, X could be a negative number. Even though you're adding X, you could be adding a negative. So equation number two is a perfect match for situation D. Problem number two, starting at noon, the temperature drops steadily at a rate of eight tenths degrees Celsius every hour. For each of these situations, write and solve an equation and describe what your variable represents. A, how many hours did it take for the temperature to decrease by 4.4 degrees Celsius? We can write the equation like this. 0.8 degrees times an unknown amount of hours equals 4.4. Since the temperature was dropping 0.8 degrees, we can put a negative sign and the temperature decreased by 4.4 degrees. So we can put a negative sign there too. To get the H alone, we need to divide both sides by negative 0.8. Since a negative divided by a negative equals a positive, both sides of the equal sign will be positive. That means on the left side, we have one H or H and on the right side, we have 5.5. That means it took 5.5 hours for the temperature to decrease by 4.4 degrees. B, if the temperature after the 4.4 degree drop was negative 2.5 degrees Celsius, what was the temperature at noon? We can write an equation to represent this. Let's write T for the time at noon minus 4.4 degrees Celsius equals negative 2.5 degrees Celsius. To get the T by itself, we need to add 4.4 to both sides. That gives us the T all by itself on the left-hand side and 1.9 on the right-hand side. At noon, the temperature must have been 1.9 degrees Celsius. Problem number three from seventh grade, unit four, lesson three. Kieran mixes three-fourths cups of raisins, one cup peanuts, and half a cup of chocolate chips to make trail mix. How much of each ingredient would he need to make 10 cups of trail mix? Explain your reasoning. Let's use the information they gave us to see how many cups of trail mix this recipe makes. Three-fourths of a cup, plus one cup, plus a half a cup. A half a cup is the same as one-fourth plus one-fourth. And if I add one of those fourths to the three-fourths, that would total four-fourths, or one cup. Now we can add one cup plus one cup plus the one fourth cup that was left over and we have a total of two and one fourth cups. This tells me that Kieran's recipe makes two and one fourth cups of trail mix. Now if he were to make 10 cups of trail mix, I need to see how many times larger 10 cups is compared to two and a quarter cups. 10 divided by two and a quarter. I can write two and a quarter as a decimal, 2.25. 10 divided by 2.25.
that'll tell me how many times larger 10 cups of trail mix is compared to the two and a quarter cups in Karen's recipe. It turns out 10 cups of trail mix is 4.4 repeating times larger than two and a quarter cups. This means that each ingredient will be multiplied by 4.4 repeating to figure out how much of each ingredient Karen will need to make a total of 10 cups of trail mix. Let's take a look at the original ingredients and their amounts. Three fourths of a cup of raisins, one cup of peanuts, and a half a cup of chocolate chips. Next, let's multiply each of those by 4.4 repeating. 3 fourths times 4.4 repeating equals 3.3 repeating cups of raisins. 1 times 4.4 repeating equals 4.4 cups of peanuts. And 1 half times 4.4 repeating equals 2.2 repeating cups of chocolate chips. Problem number 4 from 7th grade Unit 5 Lesson 6. Find the value of each expression. A. 12 plus negative 10. That's the same as 12 minus 10. And 12 minus 10 is 2. B. Negative 5 minus 6. Imagine a number line starting at 0. Move 5 to the left and move 6 more to the left. You've moved a total of 11 to the left. So negative 5 minus 6 is negative 11. C. Negative 42 plus 17. That's kind of like 17 minus 42. There's more negatives than there are positives, so the answer is going to be a negative, and the difference is 25. So negative 42 plus 17 equals negative 25. D. 35 minus negative 8. I like to look at this as 35 and the opposite of negative 8. And the opposite of negative 8 is positive 8. So this has the value of 35 plus 8. And 35 plus 8 is 43. E. Negative 4 and a half plus 3. Again, there's more negatives, so I know the answer is going to be a negative. And the difference between 4 and a half and 3 is 1.5. So negative 4.5 plus 3 equals negative 1.5. Problem number 5 from 7th grade Unit 5 Lesson 8. The markings on the number line are evenly spaced. Label the other markings on the number line. I notice that there's two even spaces between 0 and negative 30. So if I divide negative 30 by 2, I get negative 15. So each space is worth 15. So for example, if negative 15 is to the left of 0, then positive 15 is to the right of 0. Moving one more space to the right of 15, I have to add another 15. So 15 plus 15 is 30. Let's count by negative 15, starting at 0 and moving left. Negative 15, negative 30, negative 45, negative 60, negative 75. Problem number six. Kieran drinks 6.4 ounces of milk each morning. How many days does it take him to finish a 32 ounce container of milk? A. Write and solve an equation for the situation. We can write an equation that represents 6.4 ounces times an unknown number of days equals 32 ounces. And that would be 6.4 D equals 32. Next, we need to solve. So let's solve for D. We can do that by dividing both sides by 6.4. On the left side, we have D by itself. And on the right side, we have 32 divided by 6.4, which equals 5. It would take Kieran five days drinking 6.4 ounces of milk each morning to finish 32 ounces. B. What does the variable represent? The variable D represents the number of days it takes Kieran to finish the container of milk. Be sure to support my YouTube channel by liking this video, leaving a comment, and subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.